there are two unused cells, 2EO Cass High slash Low Hotel Lobby 01, that have remained a long time mystery in New Vegas' game files. This is the untold tale of the unused vault. The cell prefix 2EO is important, as we can infer where the area would have been located. Early in FNV's development, area designers used alphanumeric prefixes to denote areas on the world map. As a result, we know it would have appeared at the end of the strip, near Michelangelo's workshop in Vault 21. Considering it has a vault door, and it was planned to be a hotel on the strip, I assume this was an early, cut version of Vault 21. Intrigued, I ask area designer Jorge Salgado. Cass High Hotel Lobby wasn't meant to be an actual area in the game, no. It was a bit of a holdover test that then got repurposed fully for testing work. That's the only reason we kept it around. So, why am I getting attacked by coyotes? Well, what's happening is actually pretty fascinating. Looking at the coyotes in the GEC reveals they're called V-Spawn Test, and I ask Jorge about it. Yes, in this unused scene, I've begun testing a scripted, random spawn system to mimic some of the behaviors that were possible in the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. The GEC could not spawn a variable number of creatures through a single spawner in the way I would have liked. So I devised a system that pulled from a set of existing critters, every one of them already tracked by the engine through their unique IDs, and then randomized how many of these to teleport into desired locations when desired. For example, as the player entered an area, I did not use this in FNV, but it served me to polish an expanded system that then I did put in place in one of the DLCs, Honest Hearts. This system allowed us to have a random number of creatures and types from which to populate encounters, while, at the same time, letting us create complex scripted behaviors for them, because, as I said, the creatures had unique IDs. These were essential for handcrafted scripted behaviors in that engine. There's also a handful of generic NPCs. These civilians and NCR soldiers were meant to appear in a cut scene at Camp Golf. The civilians would have attempted to steal water from the base before being chased away by the soldiers. There's quite a few unused lines from the scene, which would have further bored the morality of the NCR. Screw it! Just shoot! They'll get the hint! Fuck you, NCR thugs! This is our land, and you won't last here forever! They're hoarding our water. How are we supposed to survive the desert, huh? Hope those greedy bastards rot in foul water. There are also eight merchants that were meant to randomly appear at Boulder City, but in the final game, only one of them is ever used. So I asked Jorge about these cut NPCs. Yeah, the water beggar slash NCR stuff was worked on by Jeff Hughes. It turned out very well, even if a few things got streamlined. That's one of them. As for the merchants, same. Boulder City was meant to have more to it, but in the end, and being so close to Hoover Dam, it ended up being rather lean. This area was never actually meant to appear, but the random spawning system, water beggar encounter, additional merchants, and a more fleshed out Boulder City were ultimately left on the cutting room floor. <laughs> 